Hey everyone, welcome back to Insanity's Nest and welcome to another NBA 2K16 What If video. This week we've got what if Kevin Durant and DeMar DeRozan went to the Lakers. Now I learnt a lot from the LeBron's Big Four video and I'm hoping to revisit that one again because that will be interesting to see how they will go in the other conference. But for this one, it's all going to be Lakers, so let's dive straight in. Same thing, we're doing the three seasons, everything automated, I don't want to have a hand in it, I'm just going to let it simulate and see how it goes. We're going to auto-generate the rookies, as we will every year, and... Basically the trades I've done to get this, I've done Kevin Durant has come to the Lakers for Lou Williams, uh, DeMar DeRozan for Jordan Clarkson, and I've retired slash released Kobe. I think, yeah, there he is. I've made him a 56 overall, so no one will pick him up anyway. Let's go through to the team, shall we? So we've got D'Angelo Russell at the 1, DeMar DeRozan at the 2, Kevin Durant at the 3, who's this, Julius Randle? Julius Randle at the 4, and Roy Hibbert. Roy Hibbert at the 5, with Brandon Bass. Uh, we've got a lot of forwards on the bench there. Uh, Nick Young is still at the Lakers. I'm sure the coach will trade a few of them away, so we'll see who we can pick up. For the first year, I'm going to go to the All-Star break, and then for the other two, it's just going to be straight through. Alright, after everything started out really strong for this season, we've ended up 4th in the conference, 2nd in the div, with a record of 31-24 at the All-Star break. Uh, let's take a look at who is winning the conferences. We've got Golden State, Spurs, Blazers. We're up over the Thunder, but that could be because we've taken one of their star players, Kevin Durant. As for the Eastern Conference, the Raptors in 3rd spot, even though we've taken DeMar DeRozan out of their lineup. Alright, we'll see you at the end of the season. Welcome to the playoffs as Stephanie Curry brings in the MVP. D'Angelo Russell wins, wins Rookie of the Year with backing up KD and DeRozan. Nikola Pekovic, Sixth Man of the Year. It's on the Kings. Defensive Player of the Year, DeAndre Jordan. CJ McCollum, Most Improved. Steve Kerr, Coach. Alright, let's see where we ended up. We finished 7th in the conference and 3rd in the division. That is pretty, pretty close. So we ended up just above the Rockets and below the Mavericks. Looks like the Thunder were really hurting without KD. And the Raptors managed to keep their 3rd spot. Okay, looks like we've got the tough ask of taking on the San Antonio Spurs in round 1. Instead of simulating the whole round, what I'm going to do is game by game and hopefully we can watch how it breaks down as we lose game 1. We lose game two. Looks like Durant, Russell, DeRozan's down there with one minute played. What has happened to DeRozan? Oh my gosh. DeMar DeRozan is injured at the moment with a high right ankle sprain. Hopefully he can come back and we can win this series. That's devastating. I don't know how long he's been injured. Looks like DeRozan is still out and it looks like this is going to be us out of the playoffs. Even though Kevin Durant can drop a 40 on a team and D'Angelo, I always struggle with that name. D'Angelo Russell picks up a 24, we can't beat the Red Hot Spurs. As we lose it in 4 with KD dropping all sorts of points. Uh, looks like DeRozan came back and that one got 33 and Durant only fired with a 15. Um, shooting 7 from 15. Uh, let's see who wins season 1. As we've got a Warriors-Cavs final, and the Warriors win it in four. What else can I say? That's expected. Let me get Stephanie Curry winning the MVP for both. There he is. Just going to simulate this, but I think what the team is missing is a big man. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little dabble into free agency, see if we can pick up a big man for this team. Because I want to see them win. Brandon Bass, we'll get him back. Exactly, yep. As we see, there is a few... Can we pick up Dwight Howard? What would happen if Dwight Howard returned to the Lakers with KD and DeRozan? Let's let's see. What can we offer him? 
We can offer him a swag low. Let's offer him 25. 25 mil. He's not worth 25 mil, but we'll give it to him. Oh, Paul Gasol? Paul? What if he returned back to the Lakers at 36 years old? Let's give it a go. We'll offer him 20... 20, not 20k, 20 mil. See what happens. Andre Drummond? Did I offer Andre Drummond the contract? Can I get Paul Gasol and Andre Drummond? No, I think I should only get one of them for shits and gigs. We'll go for Paul Gasol since he was a Laker, just to make this a little bit more fair and realistic. Andre Drummond. Just can sign wherever he likes. So D. Howard didn't want to come back. Alright, fresh new season. Let's take a look at how this team's looking. Russell at the 1, DeRozan at the 2, Duran at the 3, Julius Randle at the 4. We've got Hassan Whiteside at the 5 with Paul Gasol. Possibly going to be 6th man of the year. Brandon Bass, Corey Brewer, Sam Dillman, Larry Nance Jr. And a whole bunch of other guys. So now this team is looking good. I'll see you at the end of the regular season. Hopefully we can make the playoffs and go for that championship. And wow, what an impressive season that was. Draymond Green getting the regular season MVP. Derek Dantley, Dennis Schroeder getting sixth man of the year. DeAndre Jordan getting back-to-back -back defensive players. Derek Favors most improved. Steve Kerr back-to-back. -back. All right, so we ended up second and second conference division respectively with a record of 58 and 24. Finishing with a win streak of four. It's looking good for us. Let's just have a look at the league leaders. Chef Curry coming out on top. Kevin Durant is slightly in. Broken nose, one to two weeks. Let's just have a look, see if we've got the same team. Paul Gasol has made his way into the starting lineup. As we've picked up Seth Curry. Interesting, interesting pickup. Getting no minutes, just because he is the brother of the legendary Stephanie Curry. Finish up second behind the Warriors, above the Pelicans and above the Timberwolves. Those two are surprisingly up there. OKC still average without Durant. Trailblazers, Clippers still there. But where are the Spurs down here? Without Tim Duncan, the Spurs have just collapsed. We're going up against OKC, so let's just simulate the first round. And hopefully we don't get eliminated by Russell Westbrook. We make it through 4-1. No problem for us there. Uh, Westbrook just not firing. Chandler Parsons being their main scorer in the last game there. As DeRozan drops 41 and Durant did not play because of course he's got that broken nose. Let's just check and see if that's all it is. He's fit and healthy. So that's good going into the second round against the Portland Trailblazers. Simulate the round. We sneak in with a 4-3 against Portland there. All right, let's simulate this round against the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves have upset us in the third round. How the hell, who the hell are they got? Carl Anthony Towns is 89 overall. Andrew Wiggins, 86 overall. That's incredible how they've just eliminated like that. And they're playing against the Bulls, who have the same team as usual. No one special, no one interesting. Yeah, let's see who wins out of these two. The Timberwolves look like they've just swept the playoffs. I feel like we would have beaten Chicago Bulls as well. Um, that's disappointing as Towns gets the finals MVP. Let's do the same thing. Head to that free agency. See if we can pick up a good sixth man or a power forward maybe. So let's have a look at the team. Durant, DeRozan, Whiteside, Gasol, Ran uh, Russell, Randall, Brewer, Bass. Looks like Seth has been dropped. Um, let's go for a nice power forward. If we could get Zach Randolph, I doubt we've got enough salary cap. It looks like we're well over, so let's just go straight to next season. As it happens, last season has been our best from the simulations. The big four, go watch that, see where they make it. Hopefully Durant and DeRozan, and now Gasol and Whiteside. Can they get a championship? Let's have a look at the end of the season, see if we can beat our record of second in the conference and second in the division. First season, we had 43 and 39 win-loss. Second season was 58, 24 win-loss. This season, I'm thinking 82 and 0 as we lose our first game. See you at the playoffs.
The most valuable player actually goes to Kevin Durant, our own teammate. The first time we've got MVP in the series. Uh, Rookie of the Year is this monstrosity of a name, Leftos Amanatidis. Amanatidis. Uh, Kenneth Free gets sixth man of the year. Defensive player of the year is LeBron James at the Mavericks. What the hell has happened over these three seasons that LeBron James has ended up at the Mavericks? Uh, DeLon Wright, most improved. Byron Scott, our coach, uh, coach of the year. As we finished number one in the conference, number one in, in the division, let's go, where is it, standings, conference, above Golden State, winning by two. The Timberwolves are there, Pelicans. I feel like since this is the third season, the rookies and stuff from this season um, in real life will actually be up there. That's why I can't have Anthony Towns is a 90 overall. Holy shit. And why we lost a few games to the Knicks, I bet Paul Zingas is like a, he's 81 overall. Uh, not as much improvement as Carl Anthony Towns, but that's alright. Russell's turned into 87, DeRozan's in 87, Durant's in 94, Randall's 80, Paul Gasol 81. And we've got Chris McLaughlin's a 73, Hassan Whiteside is there as well. We've got Anthony Morrow, we've picked up Anthony Morrow and Seth Curry is still there. Ooh, that's bad. What's he got? Does it say? He's got a broken right kneecap, six to eight weeks. I don't think he's going to make it back for the playoffs. But nonetheless, we're up against the Nuggets. Round one's ours. And just like that, round one is ours. We're coming up against the Pelicans next. As I notice, the Clippers have knocked out the Timberwolves. The Clippers with the usual team, it looks like, pretty much. And let's see who Golden State have. And I've just simulated the round, and we've been eliminated. Um... How the hell did the Pelicans... Anthony Davis going big, who is now a 93 overall. Drew Holiday, Macklemore, Biombo. That's, that's big. That's big. Um, that's disappointing that we lost that way by me accidentally pressing simulate round. Uh, let's just simulate this playoffs because now I'm devastated. What an upset. The Golden State Warriors have won the championship. It's the second seed as well, mind you. That should have been us. It's disappointing, but the Pelicans put up a damn good fight and actually just shocked us. That's just sad. Let's see who's the MVP. Let me guess. Draymond Green. Ooh, Stephanie Curry with the MV finals MVP. And that sums up the three years, the three seasons. I'll give you a rundown. It's not looking good for this series. No one can win a damn championship. Even with me messing with the free agents and getting a few trades in. So first season, we came seventh in the conference, third in the division. We're eliminated in the first round with a win-loss of 43-39 for the regular season. Second season, we were second and second in conference and division. Eliminated in the third round. That's the best we've done. That's the best anyone's ever done. In this two-part series so far, more to come. And then the last season, first in the conference, first in the division. Eliminated round two by the Pelicans. So what I've been starting to learn from these two videos is that it doesn't matter what kind of combination you make in a team, if it's not a full whole roster full of stars, like off the bench, good players as well, there's no team is going to get carried. It's like in real life, LeBron James is carrying his team, Kyrie Irving's coming up and Kevin Love's injured at the moment, um, J.R. Smith's trying to fire, and then you've got the Warriors, it's just a great team. Harrison Barnes, Stephanie Curry, um, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, all of them. They're just all, that's a team. So the next video I'm going to do is actually going to be Kevin Durant going to the Spurs. And I feel like that could be the big thing. That could be the big team. you got Aldridge, Duncan, Ginobili, Parker, and then you'll have Durant, and then you'll have the bench. I'm excited to see how that goes and see if it goes better than LeBron's Big Four or Durant, DeRozan to the Lakers. Um, I hope you enjoyed this What If video. Let us know in the comments below what we should have done differently, what we should have changed, what kind of scenarios do you want to see in future. 
I'll see you on Sunday for a siege. It's going to be a good one. See you next Wednesday, maybe. See you next video.